everyone. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Hope you're 1111. And yes, I am. My name is Darlene. I'll be doing a reading for you today on, as the title suggested, your deceased loved one or ancestor. I'm just trying to see the exact spirit wants me to read. Oh, my goodness. Give me a second. Okay. So I'll start shuffling some cards here while I yammer on for just a minute. i got to get my business out of the way. Um, so please stay to the end. I'm going to tell you how you can uh, potentially win a free reading with me that I'll be announcing, uh, let's see what that is, two and a half weeks-ish, something like that. So stay tuned, please, to the end. Don't fast forward. Come on, give your old girl some love here. Watch the video. It might be entertaining at the very least. And also, whatever you do um, to interact with my videos, oops, thank you, right off the bat, I am very grateful because whether you hit the like button or subscribe or make a comment, that tells the YouTube algorithm that this content is interesting and it pushes the content out to a broader audience. I'm just getting started here on YouTube, so that does help my channel grow, and I'm very, very grateful. But it, I'm sorry, I was just looking at the bottom deck. But it also, um, more importantly, is more likely to reach the family and loved ones that this message was meant to. So thank you for your time. I do value it, and I appreciate you watching. Okay, that is my business out of the way. So let me get started here while I'm shuffling. I'm waiting just for some cards to pop out. So I'll continue shuffling. Let me just take a peek, 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 peek. So if you have not um, been to one of my readings or watched one of my readings rather before, I don't always read what you may think is the traditional meaning of the cards like you would say, for example, in a love reading. My um, context is different here because I'm reading for a deceased loved one, so it doesn't always mean what you may think it might mean, but Spirit uses the cards to, to help me pull in the energy and and sometimes get specifics or information that they would have me have me have. I don't know. Is that proper English? So that all out of the way. I have a gentleman coming through today, and it was really interesting. Um, m most mediums, spirit gives them images of some kind, although sometimes we just hear things. It depends on what you're skill is. Some mediums just, you know, hear things in your head. I do a little of both. I, oops, thank you. I am um, clear audience, so I do hear that, hear things, but I'm also, um, they give me visions, visions, pictures in my head to, to try to um, get things across to me. So I'm sharing that because they, they were giving me a word I wasn't quite getting it, and so they showed me a picture of them, and it was literally, let me stop for a second. The word is light worker. Now, we're all living here in 2022, so most everybody knows what that is. If you don't know what that is, um, please Google it, and, and that you can find lots of information on that on the internet. But they were showing me, so it wasn't just that they were giving me the word, they were showing me a man up on a tall ladder reaching up to a, a street light, essentially a street light. Um, like, I don't know if he was checking it or he was replacing the bulb, perhaps. I think that's what it was. So what I'm gleaning from that is I don't know if this man was literally someone who did that for a living. It very possibly could. Or he was literally, a, or he was also a light worker one or the other or both. I feel like it might have been some of both for sure, but that's a very specific image. So I feel strongly that he did this um, probably as a profession. Um, you know, it doesn't mean he did it for his whole life, but so they're showing me that. Now, he's coming through with the young man, well, not your man, he's a child. Um, um, I hate to hazard a guess here on the age of this child, but, you know, somewhere between 7 and 10, maybe, somewhere in that ballpark-ish. Um, 
but a young male child. And I don't feel like this is his child. They're giving me the feeling that this is uh, an, more like a nephew or someone he had a close relationship like he would a nephew. Um, but I didn't get the feeling that this was his child. So let me get a couple more cards here while I'm continuing to tell you the story. So, the, the, I mean, typically, <clears throat> if I don't, <clears throat> pardon me, get the message easily. Oh, y'all, I'm so sorry. I just realized I don't know if I, I don't have my mic on. Gosh, I hope. Let me put it on. I'm sorry. I hope that's better. I hope you can hear me up to now. <clears throat> um, so, I typically ask what is, um, or who rather, the message is meant for. Sometimes it just comes through automatically, but that wasn't the first thing that I got. So I did have to ask that. And he's saying, mother. Now he didn't say his mother, because this gentleman wasn't a spring chicken, so to speak. He's, you know, got gray, some, gray, some gray hair anyway. Um, and, and I don't, so I don't know if he's trying to say this was his mother, could be his wife, could even be this child's mother. But when he spoke to her, he just said, he referred to her as mother. Like, mother, let's go do so-and-so, or mother, uh, I'm going so-and-so, or something like that. He would refer to, or would you like so-and-so mother? So he, that's how he refers to this woman. So I wish I could get more specifics on that and who this woman was to him, but it was somebody close to him that he he had an emotional um, bond with for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he's showing me, and he's just giving me all of this information so that you will know, you will connect the dots between this is your relative and you. So he's showing me Whoever you are, the viewer, mother, I will refer to you as mother, whatever that means to you in context to this gentleman. He's showing me that he loved uh, this specific cookie that you made. There was, uh, he's showing me you're, you've got your cookie trays out and you've baked a batch of cookies, maybe two different kinds, I don't know, but there's this one that he particularly liked and it was, it, I don't know what it's called. It reminds me, of, it, it was a, like a simple kind of cookie, not a chocolate chip cookie, but more like a sugar cookie, only it was chocolate. And they're not very big around, you know, maybe about the size of this sun here. And they were a little thicker than a regular cookie, but it was some kind of, I don't know, maybe there's a name for it. Maybe it wasn't, um, a typical American kind of cookie. Maybe it's something that, I don't know, could be in a Hispanic delicacy. I have no idea. I have no clue. But he loved those cookies and you used to make them and, you know, he's doing the sneaking through the kitchen grabbing a cookie and you teasing him about it. Um, so that's, that's a sweet image. Now he's um, shifting now the energy to you and what's going on in your life. What one second? I'm sorry, I'm listening. In the, um, let me just look one one minute, y'all. Bear with me here. It's hard to talk and listen at the same time sometimes. Okay, they're just kind of backing up. I was feeling that I kept wanting to shuffle and I kept feeling that Spirit wanted me to stop, so I will because of what um, the message was coming through there with the rest of these cards on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so uh, he's telling me this, these things I'm about to share with you because deceased loved ones are around us. They, do, they are. Just because they're not with us physically doesn't mean that they're, they don't see what's going on in our lives. They do, and they check in with us. So he's acknowledging that a, a couple of things. One is that he is acknowledging watching you sitting at like a computer or an iPad or something where you were shopping for a car. Now, 
I don't get the sense necessarily that this was a new car off the showroom. <clears throat> Pardon me, floor. It could have been new to you car, not brand new, whatever. But it was something that you were dreaming of, you were hoping for, and I think that you um, you did not always have money in your life. I think that there might have been some struggle with that. And um, he's acknowledging that your money has gotten better in your life, that things have turned around for you, and that you did mourn his leaving naturally, naturally. Your, your heart was broken when he left, but um, he's, he's saying, what was the word he gave me? Um, gosh, it's eluding me, but it, it's something to the effect of, it, let me tell you the feeling, if I can't pull out the word again, the feeling is like you moved on and he's proud that you didn't linger in well, I started to say grief, and they stopped me. So it wasn't just grief you were going through. Apparently, there was some other challenge that you were going through. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was maybe it was a money thing. I don't know. Something. They're, I think they're telling me something with family, something with maybe one of your children, one of your, I'm seeing an older daughter perhaps, um, and maybe that's where this money has come from. Maybe your older daughter has come into some money because I, I like the fact that this Ten of uh, Pentacles is right next to this Queen of Cups. Now, this could be you, but I just get the feeling that maybe, um, maybe it's not. But I'm just seeing these are great cards aside from this, and I really think this is, in the, this is Three of Swords for any of you who read cards. This is heartache and grief and sadness, but this to me feels very much in the past for you. But, you know, this is way of spirit uh, not acknowledging what, what you've been through. They're seeing what you've gone through. Um, they're also showing there was some kind of you know, when people cross over, every culture and every family has a different way of saying goodbye and I feel like besides what might have happened in terms of a funeral ceremony or whatever there was some kind of a gathering I won't say it was a wake it wasn't I don't think it was like that but it was it was a moment where there were family members literally lifting a glass celebrating this gentleman and you know, kind of having a toast for him more of a, a happy vibe that might not have that might have been just for a small group of people, but he's saying he saw that, he appreciated that very, very much. He, he liked that. So whoever, I don't know if that was just, a, like I said, a small family group or could have been something bigger, but he does want to acknowledge that. Um, but he does say your, your life is now coming into balance and it's just, it's just beautiful. Um, you've got fertility. Fertility doesn't mean pregnancy necessarily, but it certainly can. Maybe somebody in your family is um, expecting but I feel like this is more you that things you're finally your your life is starting to balance beautiful things are coming to you uh, the sun is coming out here this is the happiest card in the tarot the sun you have these three beautiful cards you know the temperance empress and the sun wow that's that's just beautiful positive happy things and and right underneath this is the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups can be a couple of things. Certainly, it's happiness and happy family and all that good stuff and love, but it can sometimes be too much of a good thing, like illusions, illusions, too good to be true. And what I'm hearing is there's a bit of a, you're afraid to believe in this new happiness in your life these new good things that are coming to you it's like you're you're almost afraid to believe that it's true that's the vibe that's the vibe that I'm getting from that because of all the past struggle that you have had in your life and he's saying but no but you worked hard for this and they're telling me it's not just that you worked physically hard for this 
yes, you did. But they're, he, they're, they're telling me it's more about who you were, that you were this beautiful, sweet, giving, or, or excuse me, current, not past tense, but you have always been a beautiful, sweet, generous person, and you give and you take care of other people in such a loving and unselfish way. And that's why all of this is coming back to you, not just because you physically worked hard in your life. And yeah, your will, of, your will of fortune is coming. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you could have won the lottery here. I don't know. But they're also they're saying not only are you getting, you've got the ten of pentacles, you've got the ten of cups. My goodness, the wheel of fortune and the ace of cups. Somebody might. Oh my gosh, and the nine of. Cups is wish fulfillment. Somebody may have won the lottery. I don't know. My goodness, you are doing very, very well. And they are just so, so happy for you. They are really, really happy. And they're saying, now don't celebrate too much, Mother. Don't celebrate too much. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, it's almost like you're, you've this brand new start in your life that um, that is is coming in and you won't have to be juggling things like you did for so long and you're, you're putting, this is Ten of Wands, is the end of carrying these burdens. My gosh, this is the best reading, y'all. The end of these burdens, this person, this is the end of the journey of carrying these long, the, the, carrying these wands, bearing these burdens, you're at the end. The Ten resets to the ace and you've got an ace here even though it's not an ace of wands but still and what what's happening this is the happy home happy family um everything wonderful coming to fruition in your life commitments coming you know it look i mean you've just got the best cards my goodness wow um i i'm just so happy for you and they are too and they want you to know how happy they are that they see how deserving you are of this and uh oh and now he's bringing me back to the child and again i just i don't i wish i could get more on the relationship of this child again i feel like this it feels like a nephew kind of relationship for him so i don't know what that is to you other than you maybe you will know maybe this was somebody in your family that lost this child hopefully it wasn't you and that this will just help you recognize who this person is coming through for you all right and um they're just they're just bringing this message in to say how happy they are for you that they're watching you that they're um they're saying it, it couldn't happen to a nicer person it really couldn't happen to a nicer person that spirit is blessing you because you have blessed so many other people that is a beautiful message oh it's so nice for me to get a, a good happy reading like that thankfully um i don't always get that but i just deliver the mail okay y'all so i'm going to end that there and i just want to real quickly tell you how you can get a free reading with me if you would like so um if you uh, this is by the way is for new subscribers so if you're not subscribed please do so and also make a comment in the video youtube does send me notices when i get a new subscriber but they're not very timely with it it sometimes can take a few days before that shows up so just <clears throat> excuse me put a, a little send it in the comments i'm a new subscriber hit the subscribe button and then i'm going to add your name to my little bowl of names and then uh, the first of december first week of december i will pull a name out and then i will make a special video announcing this um this winner now please bear in mind that i'm going to only have your youtube name not your real name for example if your YouTube name is Hello Kitty, when you subscribe, that's what YouTube is going to send me. Or when I see your comment on my video, it's going to say Hello Kitty. So when I announce the winner, I'm going to announce Hello Kitty. So if your name is, um, you know, I don't know, Jim Smith, but your YouTube uh, name is Hello Kitty, that's what I will announce. So when I do announce that, 
just um, I will tell you in the video then how you can claim your reading and I have a few spots open for private readings if you're interested in that please shoot me an email my email address is down below in the uh, description box okay I think that's all the business thank you all for those who made it to the end I'm ever so grateful as I said I do value your time we all are busy busy people thank you so much I wish you all many many blessings and I'll talk to you again soon take care bye bye